Hello and welcome to the Finnish countryside. Welcome to central Finland to a very, very beautiful warm September. It has really been <laughs> unusually warm, um, up to 25 degrees Celsius, so not that common. Hmm? Uh, however, in this video I'm not going to show you <laughs> the beauty of this September, at least not that much, a bit maybe. I'm going to tell you and show you about our second summer here in the Finnish countryside. Those who have been here longer know that uh, last summer we bought and moved into this small old homestead, um, you can't really say farm, but an old countryside house with some other buildings as well. And since then we have been trying to grow it, trying to make here new stuff, make here um, old stuff uh, so that it lasts and so on. We have started our homesteading we have gotten some new animals and we have started gardening and then and, and. yeah however um we had many plans also for this summer some of them we did and some of them we didn't and now i'll show you those things um however one big thing which is going to happen in a few weeks is that we are not going to have a six sheep anymore, but only four. Because this one, for example, Duplave, is going to slaughter. Hmm? They will be our very first animals who are going to a slaughter. And um, this might surprise some people because we are actually not eating <laughs> any meat except wild and so on. People may have thought that we took the sheep only as a pets or so, but no, we didn't. Yeah, however, that will be a big change then and a big step for us in no. our homestead thing because until now only one chicken which we had to put away because she was so sick but otherwise we haven't been eating uh, <laughs> chickens at all because we have so less of them but later in this video i'll show you something hmm, about the chickens so stay tuned <laughs> but now let's go have a look what we have been up to so here behind the stable those who have been here longer know what the wasteland we had here but look at this now what the sheep have been doing here they are so so hard working and it's so nice to walk here now because here are like real paths and ways where you can walk and there you see everywhere the trees which uh, Stefan has planted but yeah, this area is now really, really nice. Especially, of course, when the sheep are here. You can cuddle with them here. And from here we also can go to our meadow. Which used to be an old field. Hmm? You remember? Last year, here was still oat growing like on that field there the farmer who's doing goat fields was doing also our area here but this year we didn't do anything for the field we just let it grow and then in august our neighbor came and moved it and it helped a lot because now it's getting like really green and there is so much fresh grass and other stuff coming so next year we are of course hoping that it's looking even better um, but I'll show you later if I don't forget what Stefan did with it as well 
that's quite cool. Here are also these nice paths now everywhere, <laughs> where you can walk very easily. So here used to be our old uh, chicken coop, and here the outside area, which we probably, hopefully, have to use again this year, because we have chicken eggs in the hatching machine. And we are of course now hoping that there are some chicken babies chicks coming but it's the very first time and uh, we don't know if we have managed to do everything right and then and, 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 and it's a bit difficult but let's hope that we are soon getting some chicks and then right next to the chicken coop is something what we have been doing lately a lot namely the sea buckthorns we have been collecting so many liters, tens of liters sea buckthorns because we have been selling them. Hmm? Because it's a lot of sea buckthorns and we don't <laughs> need that much. That's why uh, the people are actually paying quite good for it. Because I don't know if you can buy it from grocery store and so on. At least not that fresh, obviously. At least not like this and it's growing there next to a field with no poisoning and 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 that's why i got already got questions if i'm gonna be selling it next year as well so maybe we are stefan cut um big branches and some of the trees as well so i don't know how much there will be next year but we also also bought two new trees, so Ooh, they are coming as well next year. Not yet next year, but sooner or later. And the potatoes are still on the ground. It's nice because many people have been complaining that they have some problems with potatoes. We also have had some which haven't been that good, but most of them are still in the ground. And now I'm walking here behind our side building, the Aita. I guess you have never been here <laughs> because you can walk here only in the winter time when the snow is um, strong enough to carry you and in the autumn when, the, um, when they have made the hay. Because here on these fields, which are next to our house, the farmer is, it's, there is a, uh, grass growing and then he goes and moves, moves it and uh, let it stay there because it's a some kind of law that you have to <laughs> keep some of the fields so and so long just um, without doing anything then I'm not sure if I've showed already this good good fence that Stefan built for the sheep um, the stable is so broke that it's not gonna be standing many tens of years anymore that's why spending a lot of money for a um, beautiful fence which has to be then rebuilt away again mm, it feels not that clever that's why Stefan took just some wood he found and some I don't know some trees and so on and I think it's super cute and it fits really well to this <laughs> broken stable. He is dreaming <laughs> of an, this old Finnish um, fence. But let's see. Let's see what comes then when the stable is not there anymore. Everything will look totally different then, of course. But now it's perfect for us, for the sheep, because the, when the sheep are in the stable, we are moving them every day somewhere else but sometimes they stay behind the stable like today and then they can go direct i'll just open the door and then they go direct behind it and in the morning and in the evening they still can get some <laughs> fresh air move, more moving place and so on that's why really nice and then things which we didn't manage 
the roof of this building at the building we were thinking that this will be one of the very first projects we already got the building up and so on but the roof stayed unfortunately last summer yes it was last summer so last year we put tarps on the roof so that the rain and the snow don't ruin it more and we were thinking that the tarps work very well and they were working quite well but not very long because then um in the i think it was in the spring in the summer in the second summer then they were just fading away and the problem is not only that they are fading away the other problem is that they are like fading like very very small pieces and then these pieces are now everywhere and it's really really annoying so at first i was thinking yeah tarp <laughs> good thing to do but now i would say it's not a good tip maybe or maybe not that long maybe just for six months or so that time it worked really very well and uh, stayed complete and so on but for a longer time nope but next year <laughs> we are now hoping that next year or we are not only hoping we have to do it because otherwise it it doesn't last anymore and it's such a beautiful building it has to be saved and now a small bonus because i'm not sure if i have showed this one for you already namely the upper floor of our stable mm. here is a lot of garbage <laughs> but also something very cool namely our own hay hmm? after our neighbor was here stefan was then very very hard working and turned some of the hay or at that time it wasn't obviously hay grass he turned it so that it could dry and then after afterwards as it was dry he carried the whole hay here so now we actually have our own hay of course not that much and um, the quality is maybe not the best one for the I wouldn't be maybe feeding it for the best race horses in the world but for the sheep it's definitely enough and if it if they don't like to eat it then you can always put it just put it in the stable however this was quite a nice thing and how good that I came here because I'm now seeing something um, of what Stefan just told me that he wants to buy namely an old wooden sofa this one might not be the prettiest one but we have already two wooden sofas so really a, a beautiful ones and now i'm thinking that maybe you could make this one a bit prettier some new color and so on and then change it with some some of the the two other ones but let's see at first if it's already like completely wet and disgusting as so on i think it's not wet at all i think this thing has been here i don't know 30 years maybe i have no idea but it it really doesn't look that bad if you want to see this project, write me a comment. Maybe I'll do it. So, there have of course been other smaller projects and smaller things as well. The <laughs> whole summer was just uh, doing something all the time, everywhere. But I have to say that the normal life is of course taking also uh, lots of time. <laughs> you can't just be renovating and doing some things because the normal life needs to be done as well and that's still something what i'm learning 
learning to understand that the work doesn't need to get ready it, because it will never be ready so i hope i showed you and told you about the biggest things now and you uh, saw a bit how is it looking here right now and what what we have managed and what not and 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 what are the biggest things going on right now and if you want to know and see more about uh, slaughtering the sheep and the uh, um, possible chicks hatching and so on then write me also a comment and otherwise i hope of course you like this video thanks for watching and we will see us next time again Bye-bye.